How's it going, everyone? Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure not to be with you today. We're going to be taking a look at Police Shootout. This is going to be a Let's Look At uh, Police Shootout. It is in demo right now, and it's currently on Steam. If you want to go ahead and check out the demo, I believe it's still available for a free download if you want to see Police Shootout uh, for yourself. Um, what is Police Shootout? I'll give you a quick description of what Police Shootout is. Police Shootout, you jump straight into a police interven intervention. Based on many real-life stories, Feel the thrill of real action. As a police enforcer, you will need to help protect and prevent crime in the field. So I think one thing that kind of stood out for me here in the description was based on many real stories. It's kind of spicy, right? Kind of spicy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's a pleasure. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. It's a pleasure being with you here today. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you want to see content by me, you gotta hit that subscribe button, like the video if you like it, and maybe when this game does fully release, we could do a little bit of a let's play or some kind of series of some sort. Uh, yeah, so let's let's jump into it without further ado. So please shoot out. Hello, we'd love to present you a slice of the upcoming game, Police Shootout. In this demo, you'll find the tutorial in one level we selected to show you what the game is all about. We hope this experience will give you a glimpse of what to expect in the future. Please keep in mind that the product is not finished. We are super thankful that you've decided to play Police Shootout. Okay, nice. Let's let's do it. Let's give it a try. So we have options. We have train. Hang on. Options first. Options. Static. Crosshair. Apparently, whatever the hell that means. Uh, graphics. Definitely, that resolution is 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 not correct. <laughs> not correct indeed let's slow it down there for a sec my man <laughs> let's apply that there we go and then uh screen scale uh v-sync looks like v-sync is on that's good all right you know i think that's that's okay here all right so i don't know what training is i don't want to do training i don't think i think i just want to jump into it looks like i don't got a damn choice now do i start training <laughs> All right, so yeah, I have not seen any videos on this. I have no idea what to expect. It's, you know, just a let's look at type thing. Maybe something to get excited for in the future. We'll, we'll find out here. So talk to your instructor in, oh my God. Talk to your instructor in room A1. Okay, so this C1, B1, A1. Technically, I guess this is A1. So hello, instructor. This is Corporal Hank. All right, rookie, welcome to A1 Training Skirmish. Our goal will be to teach you techniques for dealing with your opponent. Here we will deal with a direct confrontation tactics method of protecting your own ass and, and, and attack. Wait, what? Tactics. Methods of protecting your own ass and attack? What? <laughs> I'll show you everything in the simulation. In, B, in room B1, you have some targets on which you can practice your aim. There are exercises of a completely different specialty in room C1. I recommend you take a look there also. All right, so new assignment. Talk to the instructor in room C1. Play out the training scene in room A1. So this this is this is this is it. This is room A1, right? I, I would like to do this, my man. Can I do this? Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. During the shooting, not only your accuracy is important, you can practice it with the targets in the next room. To dodge a bullet, what matrix you have to use cover. You can hide behind them, which gives you a clear advantage. It won't rip your head off. Or you can take your chances and get better prepared. The training will teach you how to evaluate in the effectiveness of the available shields, how to move between them, how to aim from behind them, and finally shoot. As you go through the next steps of the workout, you'll get short cues. Take your time, read each one, and show me what you got. All right, so shall we get started? Uh... Can you start the training from the... Yeah, let's get started, dude. Oh my god, dude! Okay, okay, wait. Yo, 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 yo. Why so fast? Uh, to shoot, aim your weapon at the enemy and click right mouse button. Is it right? Why is it right? Why not left? A possible shooting field... Okay, okay let's just try it, I guess. Why is it right? A player's turn has a limited duration. Use it to perform. Okay. Oh god, oh god. Oh! Oh, you gotta hold it. Okay, how the hell did that just miss? <laughs> so action points. Alright, each operation requires the use of a certain amount of action points. If you run out of action points, you simply end the turn in your next turn. Oh god, that's not good. Uh, this isn't good. This is not good because I'm not in cover either. I'm gonna get shot at. Opponent's turn. Oh god. So it's, it's like, oh. It's like a turn base, I guess. I would like to go forward. Uh, why can't I walk? 
Uh, that's not good. Ah, you madman. Watch out. Opponents can shoot accurately. Okay. Relocation. During the battle, we will observe the shields in place around us. They mark... Okay, I guess that was probably like a... Okay, I see. So nine points to go here. Okay, effectiveness of the shields. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right. And then we just like peek the corner maybe? I can't really peek the corner here. <clears throat> so it's like a turn based kind of... It's kind of kind of cool in that sense. I'm not going to be able to shoot him, so I'm just going to sit here. He's not going to be able to get me. Okay, he'll take his turn. I was not expecting this. I was not expecting a turn-based type of game here. Is it my turn now? I can't tell. Oh, I hit him! Subject's been hit. Target's been hit. Suspect's been hit. It's probably a proper term there. Now, I can't, like... Oh, I guess I could run back there. Oh, I don't have enough energy. Oh, no. This is gonna hurt. Yep, yep, dude, I'm almost dead. Job's done. Fight's over. I, I, I think I lost. Talk to the instructor in C1. Okay, so I, I understand that. So that, that's fine. This is C1, right? Yep, C1. Welcome to my humble home. We don't often get visitors here. You can learn some very useful things here before you head out to town. You can solve many situations using without using a gun. Just do a little research and you might come across something like this. But let's start at the beginning. At this stage of training, we'll talk about your inventory. Hold Q to access it. Could you tell me more about the equipment? Could you tell me more about the guns? Tell me more about the equipment. A flashlight doesn't need much explaining. It lights up and that's it. Using the radio, you can communicate with the base and ask questions. This is important. Sometimes you can verify the information obtained or push uh, or push the mission or, or push the mission forward. You will receive notifications regarding a new message. Okay. The messages are usually general and accessible, but sometimes you may come across a message that is only relevant in a particular location, such as checking for stolen cars. In the notebook, you can see the collected information and partial summary of the current mission. A notification means a new note has been added. A baton can be useful to stun an opponent, so we can learn later cuff them, interrogate him, and not risk of shooting him. To accomplish this, you must sneak up on your opponent. You, may, you move slowly but silently. However, you risk a bullet to the head. That's terrible. The pistol has a longer range and, and a magazine, relatively easy to use. It still requires focus to hit the target. Shotgun, a heavy weapon, small magazine, good for short range. But if you're lucky, the burst may hurt the target and more. Then there's the stun gun. It's a simple thing. You aim, you shoot, and the guy lies disarmed. Although I doubt you'll have access to it at first. It can be useful to stun an enemy. So we can cuff them, interrogate them, and not risk a shootout. To accomplish this, you must sneak up and do... Okay, sneak up. I think that's all I need to know. Great. Go through your inventory and get back to me, okay? So equipment, in your equipment, you will find everything that a real police man needs to work. To open the inventory wheel, okay, hold Q. Great. So we have hands, notebook, radio, handcuffs, stun gun, baton, and a flashlight. All right. Good to know. In your inventory, you also find handcuffs. You can use them to handcuff and neutralize an opponent, one that surrenders or stuns. You can try to talk to him and try to get additional information out of him. Not everyone is talkative, but some people open up with no problem after being handcuffed. Do you understand everything? I, I, I'm pretty sure I do. There are situations where an opponent can not only be tackled from behind, but also distracted or diverted. Now, I'll give you a hint on what you can do to increase your chances. Sometimes turning a light or an alarm off or on, or on can focus your attention. It can be other things too, but these examples are the most obvious. That's why it's a good idea to look around sometimes and surprise your opponent. Do you understand everything? I understand. Now, I will ask you to watch this guy moving in the back room, then activate the alarm with the switch on the wall and watch what happens. Please come back to the me for further instructions, okay? So the distraction of the opponent. Before you try to approach your opponent unnoticed, you should distract him at first. An alarm will help you with this. All you need to do is turn it on by holding E. Okay, so this person back here that's walking back and forth is, I guess, the, the target here, so... Alarm. He goes over to the alarm. Now we'll test your skills. Sneak up on your friend and hit him lightly in the head with a bat. <laughs> with a bat or a baton? Just make sure he doesn't notice you. Do you understand everything? I, I understand. Well, show me what you got. Okay, this is good. I can do this. Just bring up the baton, dude. Okay. Hit it again.
I got him. I don't even know if I had it have my baton out or not. Great. Half the work is done. Remember to handcuff your opponent after you stun him. Now and go and handcuff him. You understand everything? <laughs> I understand everything, dude. Okay. Okay, let's bring out the handcuffs. You're under arrest for illegally walking back and forth between these shelves. That's called jaywalking. I think. <laughs> well done. It's a good idea to look around for the clues at the scene. All right. It could be a many, a many a number of things. A lot of cash, guns, drugs. They're just a few of the possible options. Or these are just a few of the possible options. Do you, do you understand everything? Yes, Sergeant Gary. Do you understand everything? Objective is complete. Collecting evidence. All right. So let's go ahead and collect evidence, I guess. So this would be uh, drugs. Drugs, guns, and cash. Yo, that's actually real USD money. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Well done. That's all for me. If there's anything else you want to ask, I'll be here. All right. Uh, see you later, my dude. Exit tutorial. That's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to leave that your boy back there with his handcuffs. Hello. <gasps> oh. Uh, what? Are these... Are these real people? Are these real people? Sometimes it's real people. Sometimes it's like the devs. I don't know, dude. Don't think it's the devs. All right. That's kind of crazy. We didn't even get to go in that room. Oh, well. Let's get the hell out of here. Next training. Sure. I want to go on. I want to be on, on the beat cop, dude. I want to be out there on the streets. What is this? An in interview with Fiji water? Or is this a sponsorship with Fiji Water? It's time to teach you what negotiation looks like. All right. The rules are simple. You collect clues during the operation. You can get these clues by talking to witnesses and noticing events, things, traces in the place of operation. Circumstantial evidence gives you arguments you can use in the negotiations. Remember, however, that not every piece of information has to be true. What? It doesn't? You have to deduce it yourself from the conversations you have had and the clues that you may find. Don't ignore the messages on the radio either. They can be useful to you, all right? This is starting to feel more complicated than, than ever now. The more good hits you get, the better your chances of convincing your opponent because that's what we want, right? To avoid bloodshed and so on. Do you understand? Uh, sure. Now, let me tell you the basic facts about the criminal. You will have to decide which information is true and which is false. Choosing a card with the false information will piss your opponent off and lower his trust in us. I'm Peter Fox. My girlfriend and I have been in a motorcycle, motorcycle gang called No Weakness for a few years now. A new clue was obtained, okay? I have a thick file. I've been written up several times for aggressive behavior and destruction of property. They say I'm a bully. Okay, nice neighbor. <laughs> I have a rather good opinion among my neighbors, so you might think that I am not make a uh, that I am not make a fuss. This is bullshit. I am a troublemaker, and that's the truth. Arrested for drug possession. I've also been arrested multiple times for drug possession. For drug possessions. My best friend knows I don't do drugs, and if I if, and if I have any, it's only for sale. Okay. When they caught me, they took, they looked at my hands and I did a drug test too. And guess what? Clear. Haha. -ha, because I don't do drugs. And that's the truth. I got pulled over in a brawl at the garage. As usual, it was about money. I had a few, a dozen pounds of heroin. You already know a little bit. So what do you say? Shall we get started? Uh, uh, yeah. Let's do it. We're good to go, dude. Oh my God. What's going on up there? Peter Fox. Okay. 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 Let's get started. All right, so the card preview. You can preview each card before using it. To do this, use the... D -d -d oh, so this is kind of cool, like a little card section here. All right, let's do that. Uh, okay, using the card... To use a card in the negotiation, click and hold and on drag it. Okay, okay, we got this. Negative ending. In case an unsuccessful conversation with your opponent, the concluded the, concluded the negotiations card will be in red. Using it will start a fight. Terrible. Positive ending. If you talked well with your opponent, the concluded the negotiations card will be blue. Using it will cause the opponent to surrender. Oh my god. Okay. So let's see here. Um, uh, holy crap. So, I mean, 
we can preview this, right? His record indicates that he had multiple previous drug possession convictions, missing information. Neighbors say he behaved respectfully to them. Uh, dealer, wholesale quantities of drugs were found in his possession. A friend said he doesn't take it himself. He sells it to others. Missing information. Uh, his records indicate that he had multiple previous drug, drug, I mean, I, I think so, right? When we pulled you over, you had a lot of heroin on you. How do you know it's heroin? Did you try it? You've got some smart ass friends. I know from that you'd like to sell some stuff. What sells best? Uh, meth or heroin? It depends on what sells. You feel the joke? I, I don't. I don't feel it, Mr. Krabs. Your file doesn't lie, dude. Or dude, you got a record for possession of... Oh, come on. Stop with the bullshit. All right, all right. I sold, okay? That's it. Kids like this shit, and I like good money. The English translation definitely like went out the window here after doing that last tutorial. A well-chosen argument. Reliable information. This is how you can convince your in inter interlo locu interlocutor. What, dude? Okay, perfectly chosen argument. All right, well, that's good. His record indicates that he had multiple previous drug possessions or possession convictions. A friend said he doesn't like, he doesn't take himself. He doesn't look like a, he'll be using it. Plus his periodic, okay, yeah. All these I think are correct. You've been cited and cited, you've been cited and cited several times for possession. Are you really going to argue with that? Just because I hadn't, I had it doesn't mean I used it. And said that stupid girl, you'd listen, you'd listen to my buddy. Instead of that stupid girl, you listen to my buddy. After all, he said I didn't use it, right? If I have Tanny, they are only for sell. Tanny or Zanny? Besides, you saw my hands. You saw the test results. I'm clean. Your argument in the situation is was ill-chosen. You'll only lose the suspect's trust. Uh, okay. Street thug? You've been in a lot of trouble a few times. You were recently arrested for robbery. Right away, robbery, big deal. I broke a window or set fire to a dumpster. Everybody does it. Get off my ass. No, I, I, don't, I don't do that. You'd ask my neighbor what a good neighbor I am. I only threatened her with a baseball bat once because the idiot kept her dog on a chain. We won't dwell on it if it gives you something better. Something or someone... I won't talk about the others, but I might know something about some operation. You know that supermarket in town? A well-chosen argument, reliable information. This is how you convince your inter, inter interlocutor. Dude, what the f? f? <laughs> um, so I, I, I'm guessing we failed this argument. No, come on. It's no use. You don't know what you're talking about. Go out, take three breaths, and try again. Negotiation failed. Okay, um, okay, keep going, oh my god, dude, do this, so maybe when it's in the blue, okay, hang on, let me see, we're gonna skip through this again, okay, so, okay, that, and then, uh, street thug, dude, Okay, so there we go. All right, let's conclude this. All right, there we go. Wow, that that's a little weird. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> that's a little weird. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's officially start the game now that we're almost like 20 minutes into the video. Oh my god, who are you? You're actually me? Uh, this is Captain David Swimmer. Oh, I'm sorry, David Summer. <laughs> are you the new one? We pulled matches to see who's going to talk to you first. Wait, you're... Price is right, right, Drew Carey? I'm David, but everyone calls me Mr. Bomb. Do not ask why. I know you come from a big city, but don't feel like that's impressing anyone here. Uh, here you have your desk, computer. You probably already have received your login and password to our police base. After logging in, you will see if there are any reports. Sometimes it's quiet and sometimes it's not, as if they're all up to rob the old ladies at the same time. The job is not that difficult. You go to the scene, talk to the witnesses, observe the area. If you have to, hit someone in the face and take them to the police station. Okay. You probably already have the keys for the police car. Well, that's all I, all I know, I guess. If you need anything, don't look for me. Take care of yourself. After all, you didn't get the job because of the pretty eyes, right? What a weird conversation that was. 
All right, so we've logged in. New missions. Welcome to the map menu. You you can choose your missions here. A new mission is marked with this symbol. Parking lot brawl. Mission completed. You can also repeat the mission you have done before. All right. Uh, headquarters. You can go back to headquarters. Okay. All right. So parking lot brawl is obviously one thing here. So we can at least, I guess, respond to that. Uh, begin the mission parking lot brawl. Yes. Okay. All right. Can't think like no gunshots should happen here unless someone pulls out a nine and decides to cap the competition or this, you know, people get out of hand. Sometimes that happens, dude. Sometimes that happens. People pull out guns and knives and shit. Police car equipment. In the police car, you will find a, com a, pol a police computer and a first aid kit. Computer, computer, use it to know what your report you're spotting is about. First aid, thanks to it, you can heal a part of injuries you got during the mission. Okay. Holy crap. Yo, look at that. Take happy, be happy. Got those Monday morning blues. All right, so here's our computer. Oh, my God. Little frame here there. Um, I guess use this. Yeah, let's use this. So, priority. Parking collision outside a supermarket. Location in San Adrino. Report. A collision was reported in the parking lot outside a local supermarket. Involved is two people. Okay, so we have basic information. Let's get out. Uh, okay. How do we use our radio? Radio, please. Uh, report your arrival. I've made it. All right. Uh, dispatch, show me 1023. In information has been reported to headquarters. All right. Can I shut this? Yeah. I'd rather shut the door here. All right. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, seems like you guys have gotten into a wreck. What's going on here? Good morning, sir. I'm the new, I'm the one who reported our little accident. Okay. Hello, Jacob. What exactly happened? I was pulling out of the parking lot, and this gentleman drove into me. He backed up and slammed right into my car. You okay? No, come on. I'm, it's just a fender bender. Basically a scratch, but the guy won't admit it's his fault. That's why I had to call. Yeah. All right, then. Uh, get your papers ready while I talk to the other guy. All right, so we'll do that. You go get your papers. Uh, so technically, like in real life, somebody who's backing out, I think, is responsible um, like if someone's driving through the parking lot, the person backing out, it's their fault, I think, right? I believe. I think. Maybe. <clears throat> Good evening! Uh, you've heard enough, haven't you, that I'm responsible for this mess? What a guy. Take it easy. Uh, tell me what exactly happened. What happened? It happened that the type doesn't know how to drive. Instead of keeping to the right, he drove down the middle like a queen, a cow. Now he's making a big deal about it. What? It's a good thing it was late, and there are a few cars in the parking lot, so I barely hit him. But you know, it's a waste of nerve anyway, right? Okay. Yeah, sure, you know I have to report it anyway, fill out the paperwork, so get your paperwork ready and we'll talk soon. Sure, you got it. Alright. Yo! What just happened? Uh, 10, 1023, uh, HQ, we got gunshots in the area? Base and backup. There's several gunshots at the local supermarket. I'm going inside to assess the situation. Oh my god. Copy that. Back up on the way. What the actual hell just happened? Where's my gun? I don't have a gun. Check my notebook though. <laughs> gunshots. Where's dude? Why do I not have a gun? Give me my gun. I don't even have a stun gun. Well, you want me to go in there with no gun? I just heard gunshots. My gun's not in the car, is it? Oh my god, dude. This gentleman, lady, someone is happening. Shots fired? Shots fired? Hello? Are you okay, ma'am? To the police? Help me. Please, my daughter was left in the store and I ran as soon as... You forgot your daughter in there? <laughs> okay, I was sure she was right behind me. Okay. Uh, calm down, I'll find your daughter. When the shots were fired, did you see who did it? Yeah, she was with me. I started to run for the exit. I turned around and she was gone. Okay, new clue, missing child. Besides the fact that they fired, do you know anything else? I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm scared. Of, you know what? We should probably not like interrogate her. Okay, we've made entrance into the building. There's a, there's a, there's somebody down. We have somebody down. Somebody is down. We have one down. Hey, psst. buddy, find someone who saw that. What happened in the story? Hey. You okay? Shh, please don't speak out loud. They're still here. 
they, the attackers, the one who shot, yeah, they're going around looking for someone else to shoot. Holy crap. Um, this is starting to hit home really, really close now. Um, missing shot. Have you seen the little girl? She disappeared from her mother. Wait, what? A girl? I don't know. No, I, I don't think so. I saw her, but someone definitely ran into the toilet. Maybe it was her. Okay. Anything else? The longer we talk, the more likely they are to find us. Um, are you all right? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I hid. Do you think I can get out of here? I'm afraid they'll see me. Don't move for now. It's not safe. What a horror. Um, we just told him to stay here. Now we can't. Now we're gonna tell him he can't stay here. If I move here, he'll shoot me. Please wait. I'll come back. Okay. All right. Yeah, we have one down. This is giving me the chills, dude. Like this is hitting home way too much. Uh, oh my God, dude, it's Jerry. Who's Jerry? A cop. You think the Detroit bosses are afraid of dogs? What the hell did you just say to me? Drop the gun and get down. I hate cops. Die. This guy is suicidal. Okay, hit. He's gonna hit me, though. He's gonna hit me good. I, anywhere else I can run to. No. I should have probably ran to a cover. Oh, he, he's running. He's running. He's running. He's a coward. I don't have enough. Do I have enough? I missed. That's not good. Okay. Opponent's turn. He's running again. Okay. Follow him. Follow him. Follow him. I don't think I have enough. Yeah, I don't have enough action points. But we have his flank. Can I, like, scoot down? Yeah. Crouch. Okay, it's good that it's good to know that I can crouch at least. Don't have him go near anybody. Uh, crouch. Yo, he's shooting at somebody. Unacceptable. Sir, put the gun down. Oh my god, I missed. Crouch. You can't don't have enough to crouch. Oh my god. How do you miss at point blank range, dude? We should have got the shotgun. Okay, damn. He, he's done. He's done. Suspect's down. Let's call it in. Suspect's down. Mafia? What the hell? Sus suspect has been killed. Code 1067. The suspect's dead. Copy that. We're sitting in the corner. Corner. Mafia. I neutralized the first suspect. The guy was yelling something about the Detroit mob. Can you check him out? Yeah, for sure. I'm checking. He's talking out his ass. He's a local sprawl. Nothing major and certainly no connections to the people in Detroit. By the way, apparently there was a talk of a robbery in town a while back. The informant sold it to us. No solid information, just rumors. Uh, can we collect this for evidence? So the suspect is down. Restrooms is here. Little girl. Closed. Toilet. Toilet door. Okay. Oh my god, dude. Why did this guy die? Why did he shoot him? Why does anybody shoot anybody in any kind of these senses of sprees? My god. We gotta find the little girl, though. I hear footsteps. I, I see people. Reported dead civilian. There's another person right there. I have a bloody... I have a body here. Probably one of the hostages. Where's my backup? It's pretty bad. Backup on the way. Need an ambulance? Yeah, and send the amb ambulance just in case. Yeah, sure, I'm sending it. <laughs> Information has been reported. There's a guy right here. Sir! You know what? Just hide. Sneak. Okay, we're gonna sneak this bastard. Neutralize th the threat. Watch his pathing. We're going to bring out the baton, baby. Okay, just wait. Just wait. He'll screw up. Wait for it. 
sir. Oh my god. What just happened? Sir. Doghouse. Quickly, I'm going to count to three, and then I'm going to shoot your tail off, okay? Put the gun down. Don't do anything stupid. Ha! Huh. Good. Three. I shoot. Oh, crap. Uh, I preferably get into cover, then shoot. That's... What the hell just happened? Bad? That's bad. He's going to shoot. He's going to shoot. He's going to shoot. He's going to shoot us. Get down! Oh, he's running. He's a coward. Oh, he shot me. Hit him. Hit him twice. Missed the, missed the third time. Okay, okay, okay. I dare you to move. I dare you to move, dude. He hit me good. I disarmed him. I shot his gun. Oh my god. What an incredible shot. Put your hands behind your back, you son of a bitch. Suspect has been arrested. We will call, uh, we will call base. Call control. Control, we have one suspect in custody. Copy that. Our information has been reported. Do not move. Where's the girl at? Yo, hostage. Sir? I see you're hurt. There's a first aid kit kit on the wall by the door use it and we'll talk thank you <sighs> that's pretty cool thank you closed okay we're looking for a little girl my man looks like you're saving my life thank you you work here i'm the store manager i have information that two or three people are responsible for this mess two of them are are off the hook and the third at the boss of the whole party he locked himself in the warehouse lord knows what he's looking for how do I get there? As you walk through the store, did you see the big double doors? Yes, I did, actually. Yes, yes, yes. Go there. Be careful. The guy was sharp. All right. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. I got punched in the face by the boss of this gang, but I'm fine. I'll live. I just don't know, know what they wanted. They came by, made a fuss. They didn't even touch the cash, so it's not about money. The ambulance is on its way. Maybe it would be better if you took, uh, if someone took a look at you. There's no need for that. I really don't. I'm fine. Um, do you recognize the attackers? I know the boss. He's been in the shop a few times, but never made any problems. I heard him on the phone talking about some kind of pickup. Uh, don't ask me what, but because I have no idea, but this was the thing supposed to be in our warehouse. We don't have anything there to accept that they're on their shelves. Possibly drugs? You'll, you ask me, I'll ask you. Maybe, what else? I'm sure someone has to pick up, pick it up. That's as much as I know. All right, sir. Okay. Can I, like, drop kick this guy? I'm going to pick up his gun, though, for evidence. Item secured. Gun secured. Yo! Another person down. Another civilian down. Call that in. Report another dead civilian. We got another dead one here. What the hell's wrong with this backup? Where's the damn ambulance? There was an accident on the main road. Of course there was. Uh, the road's blocked for good. They're going, to, going for a detour. Then let them look faster. I got some good shit here. What? What? Why would you say that over the radio? Resist and don't play hero. Information has been reported to the headquarters. All right. Guess we can talk to this gentleman. Hello? The police? Jesus, finally, help me. He's not breathing. Keep front pressure on the wood. It'll slow it down from bleeding. Wait, no. He's just a customer. He's come here a lot. And today? Shit. Do you work here? Yes, I fix what's broken, and if it works, I make sure it keeps working. I went out to check out the fridges, and it started. You don't even know. You don't even know. It's it's a living hell. All right? Closed toilet door. Do you have the key to the restroom, dude? Wait, yeah, sir. I got it. Yeah, yeah, here you go. Oh, dude, there we go. That's good stuff. Toilet key. Um, they shot, I know, but just like that, they came in and started a fuss. Well, I saw this guy take, uh, talking on the phone. He looked like he was going to shit his pants. You know, scared. And then when he was finished talking, he pulled out a gun and started shooting. It stinks to death. You don't remember anything? No, I don't know any... You No. I don't know enemies? What the hell? Didn't the owner or any of the crew have any problems with anyone? I don't know. Come on. What I do is they're a bunch of amateurs for sure. They were fighting with each other like a bunch of shitheads. One of them kept asking for money and the boss said, shut the frick up. You didn't even, like, end the quotations there. 
Um, uh, please don't move here from now on, alright? What do you mean? Yeah, second attacker neutralized. What? What do you mean? Do you want me to stay here? Yeah, just straight to the exit right. No extra stops. That, what? That didn't make his freaking, okay. That didn't answer his question. Alright, sure thing. Straight to the exit. I'll be in the parking lot if you need me. Alright, good. Get the hell out of here. You just ran over the gentleman here. All right, let's go to the, let's go directly to the bathroom and help the little girl out, hopefully. Hello? Okay, the women's bathroom. <gasps> there she is. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. I'm a police officer. Hey, take it easy. See that? It's a badge. I'm a police officer. He was shooting at me. I ran away, but I was so scared. He can kill a child? What the hell? Uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's alright. You're safe now. Your mother's waiting for you outside the store. Mom, she ran away? Oh, that's lucky. Can I go to her now? Yes, yes, yes. Go to her, your mom. Okay, we could get some more med kit. We will do that for sure. Uh, apparently, we have no reflection. <laughs> alright, now we need to make our way to the warehouse, apparently. Anybody in here? Anybody in the stalls? Anybody hiding? Any other shooters? Nope. Secure the area, secure the building before anything else, right? Before moving forward. Okay, we're all good there. Alright, let's go get this son of a bitch. Oh, God. Yo, what the F? What are you doing here, cop? I was... I'm scared. You're burning ground, Morgan. You're burning ground, Morgan? Your people are out of my hair. What? The English, dude. You want to talk to me like a human being and trying to get this mess over without, without bloodshed? Hey, you made me laugh so, so hard. I'll listen to what you're barking about. Oh, crap. The negotiation, dude. Um, okay, so there's a few things. There's uh, missing information. He shot and fleeing child. Okay, no, no, no. Let's not do that. Uh, the Detroit Mafia. The first suspect we met was screaming about the Detroit mob. A witness reported overhearing a phone conversation between the suspect and someone outside the operation. We could do that. Let's do that. Let's do the Detroit Mafia. One of your men, right before he started shooting at me, was yelling about the Detroit mob. What? What did he yell? What are you talking about? I heard you call someone, someone and you nearly crapped your pants. Put the gun down. Tell us what you know, and we'll figure out how to get you out of this. Get out of what? You seriously don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so that was a terrible, terrible, terrible thing. Um, lousy leader. A witness reported to us that the suspect's associates seemed annoyed by his behavior. Let's do that. I know you wanted to play them for money. Uh, they were pissed, so the choice is simple. You either give me someone bigger than yourself, or I'll talk to them and settle for you. Okay, that, that worked for what it was worth. What it was worth. Robbing a store for a fast buck. The written, witnesses reported that the rumors going around in the city about robbing the supermarket for some time. I don't remember seeing that. Not a cent was taken out. You know that the witness that the suspect in a phone call arranged for someone to pick up. Oh, well, let's do that. It was rumored that the whole city knew all about this from the start. It's interesting for whom, as I only knew everything about it. A poor plan for a supermarket robbery anyways. Man, what are you talking about? Oh, I don't think he liked that. Yeah. Didn't help yourself about shooting a kid. Okay, looks like we're going to fail this. Yep, get ready for the gunshots. Rat-a-tat-tat, -tat, dude. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Hopefully he doesn't turn and shoot us. Hopefully he runs away. We'll see. I need to reload, though. Opponent's turn. Okay, so he does run. He shot me. He has like 200 health, though. Look at him. In the head? How do you miss, dude? Okay, we hit him that time. I did not. I hated that. I should have ducked. I should have ducked. I should have ducked. This is going to hurt, dude. Yep. Hit. Miss. Okay, duck. Now we duck. Um... Uh, I honestly just reload. How about that? Reload and 
Just duck. Reload and duck. Hit. Oh, that was a good hit. Good hit again. Oh, we can't crouch. Oh, this is going to hurt us. Hopefully, I think it just chips it down a fourth. Fourth of the way here. But we got some good hits on him. Okay, he ran back. He ran back. Great, great, great. Now we could pop him maybe. We missed. Oh, we hit him! Duck. Is he down or is he crouching? I can't tell. I think he's crouching. Let's crouch too. Maybe we can pop him through there. Oh, dude. Okay, that's not going to work. Hopefully he gets up and runs. If not, we have to charge in and get him. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. Um, Let's go that way. Got you, dude. No! Why? How? You madman, you missed. Are you insane? He's going to shoot and kill us. Okay, he hit him. He's disarmed. Put the man in custody. Give me, the, give me the goddamn weapon. Put your hands behind your back right now. Suspect arrested. Please. Thank you. Call it in. Suspe second suspect neutralized. Another suspect has been neutralized. Copy that. We're sending backup. Yeah, that's what you've been saying, dude. All right. So. I think we're fine. Like, is there evidence that we need to know about here? I mean, other than like the doors and stuff, right? Or the the um, the guns. Yeah, look at. We found drugs, dude. Item secure. We found drugs. Good stuff. Call it in. Call it in. I found a couple of packages of some crap. Of some crap in this warehouse. White powder, probably for sale. Secure what you can. The rest will be taken care of by the techs. Information has been reported. All right, let's get back to the police car. We'll just leave the suspects, I guess, in there. We won't escort them back to the to the freaking car, dude. <laughs> you guys get over yourselves with your freaking, you know, your car backing out and, and hitting me and my damn Prius. We'll get to you guys later. Let's get inside and get some freaking health, dude. Complete the mission. Let's continue the mission. First aid kit. I would like to get that. There we go. First aid kit. Use the computer. Is there anything we can use here? No. All right. So I think we're good. I think we can complete the mission now. Let's do that. Complete the mission. There we go. All right. Woo. Mission completed. One thing we didn't do is find the other people in the store. Get them out when it's safe. Okay. Completion of the mission. 70%. 73% role model. Okay. Let's go. All right. And it has a news headline. That's actually really cool. Robbery of a local supermarket. The situation was contained by one single police officer. That's pretty cool. A police officer, a hero to a mom and her daughter. Now, again, certain situations were dealt with like real stories and stuff. So who knows? Maybe this is based off of something that really happened. Police incompetence. The policeman lost a witness to the incident. Oh my God. Thank you for playing the demo. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was a let's look at police shootout. Very interesting stuff. Um, a lot of the, you know, there's a few things that need to be worked out on for sure. But um, I think the game has some some potential in it at least. And um, uh, the real stories and the stories in general look really good to to kind of catch up on. So thank you guys so much for checking this out with me today. It's been a pleasure not being with you today, and I will see you in the next video wherever that may be. Do take care. This is for all of you, not just a song to listen to, something to give you hope to hang on to.